Zoho, you spent the day yesterday in Austin with Zoholics. I spent the evening before at the part where they served the drinks and the food, and that was pretty fun. Uh, it was good to see you and all of our friends out there. But, uh, Pat, what were the big – did they talk about generative AI, Pat? So, Dan, I do want to be like you when I grow up. Uh, there were some uh, highlights here. So if you're not familiar with Zoho, they're a leader in uh, an end-to-end -end enterprise – uh, SaaS suite. They have their own uh, top to bottom infrastructure. They do everything themselves. Uh, they do have obviously APIs to services if you prefer to use things like Gmail. But but they're they really have developed where I think everybody wants to go, which is a full stack. So um, big big discussions here was on ChatGPT. Uh, the second one was uh, their up market growth. And the third one was a new service for entrepreneurs. They did uh, go GA with their new browser, but I, I don't think that was nearly as important. So they announced an integration of ChatGP with Zia, uh, which is essentially their, their bot or helper or assistant that's already on the market. And they came out with 13 generative AI applications that were enhanced uh, by it. In fact, the, the the naming says everything. So for instance, it's Zoho CRM with generative AI. <clears throat> and then they add, added four or five new capabilities to analytics, uh, to uh, word processing, to mail, I mean, to social media, to um, products called assists, landing page, sales IQ, that's CRM, notebook, and, and data prep, which is exactly uh, what it is, and, and meeting. So really cool. Uh, my workspace VP, Melody Brew, will be doing the, the detailed takedown, but I think the timing is good. Um, I don't think they needed to be first, and but I do think they'll, they will likely be first with the complete rollout. But like all of this stuff, this is the beginning. I want to get in. I want to kick the tires. I want to see how useful it is. By the way, this is uh, with a an alliance at first with um, OpenAI. In fact, you uh, bring your API key uh, and it leverages OpenAPI. So, uh, they did talk about their strategy around this, which, which I think was important in their approach. Um, and we're going to be writing more about that. Uh, I just... In, in lieu of time, I'm going to go right to what I think is pretty cool, which is uh, this new public beta of this product they have that uh, Zoho does really well with small business. But now they're intercepting people as they're forming business, right, where you can actually go onto this service and form your business, get EINs, get a website domain, get a telephony service, publish your information to Google Maps. Um, and also they've added a simplified way to do analytics, a simplified version of a spreadsheet, a total mobile solution for arm for CRM finance, uh, and action items exactly as you, as, as you might expect. Yeah, I, I wasn't there, Pat. I'm looking forward to reading your write up. And of course, six of the future group analysts were there. Um, it was great to have such a large team. You know, we are a Zoho user, uh, in our organization, been impressed since day one about this the size, scale, and scope of Zoho One. I think the company's been ambitious with uh, leveraging the power of AI, and I'm eager to sort of see how generative AI could play into this. Look, generative AI is going to it's going to democratize so much capability inside of operations. And you know, I think this week's you know the IBM story, Pat, about you know them not hiring around Gen AI because of AI doing jobs. I think there's a two side to this story that's a really important nuance here. Generative AI is going to a help companies be more efficient and stop spending money on things. A company's fiduciary responsibility is not spend money on things it doesn't have to in order to do business. So hiring for the sake of hiring to just meet the good of hiring is not really good use of uh, productivity. So what we need to do is figure out what that next wave of growth yeah. is. So getting roles out of this should be also part of an additive story about growth. So that's the second part of this equation that no one seems to quite have their arms around. Of what are the growth opportunities that are going to come out of all of this implementation of automation, of generative content, of thought leadership, of, of applications, workflows. So a tool like uh, Zoho, I would expect on the small to mid-sized businesses is going to be an enabler. And of course, how much does this actually take the company into the future into being a more 
uh, able to participate in larger enterprise, which has been something Zoho has been trying to do over the past several years. So I'm looking forward to reading up on everything. Um, I wasn't there, so I, I can't add much to what the content was yesterday, but it's always a good event. And, you know, Pat, you and I always appreciate that they come here to Austin, you know, to be part of it.